Hi everyone, I'm Beth. Sorry there was no video last week, but I'm gonna explain what happened later in the video. Today I'm gonna show you the third emblem fakeman of the Germans book region. If you have no idea what an emblem fakeman is, please check out these three videos. You will know everything you have to know afterwards. But let's start with the drawing of the first form. Today's emblem fakeman is based on the emblem of Schleswig-Holstein. On the emblem you can see two blue lines with a split tail and a white leaf on red ground. The concept basically wrote itself. The fake one is going to be aligned with two tails. If you've watched the other two videos, you know that each emblem mod re represents a number from 1 to 8. We've already done the numbers 3 and number 8 and now we will do number 2. The thing with German emblems is that literally every second emblem has a lion on it. So at one point I had to create one because the other options were a bit limited. And it's actually not gonna stay the only one. You know, lions have quite a large difference between genders when it comes to their appearance. Male lions have a huge mane while females lack it. So I decided it would be cool to design two lion fake mon, one with the appearance of a female lion and one with the appearance of a male lion. I haven't drawn the male one yet, that has waited for a different video, but the female one was actually a bit tricky. Because most people think a lion has to have a mane to be recognizable. And to be honest, I'm not sure if this fake man here reads as a female lion, but it at least looks like a huge wildcat, I think. Since I had the concept of two lion fake man in mind, I decided they could have been rivals or symbolizing rivaling kingdoms in the past. I definitely tried to give it a few attributes that look like it's a warrior. The parts at its arms and legs are armored and I gave it two blades at the end of its tail. However, both are a bit chipped because, well, when you fight you sometimes get hurt. And I put some spots on its fur because young lions have little spots on it. While scribbling the sketches, the concept of a common ancestor Pokemon came to my mind. I always see art of such common ancestors on social medias, uh, Instagram, YouTube. So I thought it would be cool to add an element that connects this fakemon with an already existing Pokemon. Can you guess which one? Besides that element, I also added a spike to its jaw. Originally I wanted to make the whole face shaped like the leaf on the emblem, but that was a bit too much and a bit too complicated. So I only drew one spike and shaped the ears referencing the emblem. For the colors I just went with the colors of the emblem, blue, red and white or rather grey, which does make it look very American, oh well. The pose was also inspired by the emblem itself, however it didn't work 100% to create the pose, but I guess it's fitting. And here it is, Kito. The name is a fusion of the word kitten and the Hungarian word for tool. Kettő. I have no idea if I pronounced that right. It is a solo dark type, all emblem fake one only have one typing if you didn't knew. Even though they are rather young, they are already skilled warriors. They are excellent when it comes to teamwork and will work together with other Kito to succeed their task. If they need help, there is always an evolved Kito near to jump in if something goes wrong. Let's see what this fake one looks like. From the beginning I knew that I wanted the tail to be very prominent in the design and its main weapon. This reminded me of an anime I watched a few years ago, Tokyo Ghoul. The protagonist can summon these tail-like things and use them to fight. This fakement does a similar thing, however it is obviously also able to fight with its giant paw and jaw. The patterns of the little cup got erased because it is now completely grown up. Instead it has two spikes on its back to protect it from attacks from above. Technically I think I just made everything a bit bigger, but I hope the changes are still enough. While sketching I decided to make this fakement design asymmetrical. I think symmetry is something really interesting to play around with. The asymmetrical part of this design are its tails. And the reason may be a bit dark, I guess, but whatever. I wanted to push the warrior and wound thematic a bit more. So, well, one is meant to resemble blood or flesh with bone parts sticking out and the other one bones with blood drops on it. Like, the fake one isn't actually hurt and these tails are not different than the rest of its body, but they just look like they were used for battle a lot. Also, the tails are loosely shaped like a 2, even though I have to admit in the end it looks more like a 3, but I tried it. <laughs> so I don't have a lot more to tell you about the design, but I have to talk with you about this channel. I started the channel nearly a year ago. 
Germany and the whole world was in chaos, to put it lightly. For the last two years, my university had to hold its lessons online. I was in my last year right before the pandemic started. However, because of the pandemic, all plans have been pushed back for two years. I had more free time over the last two years because there weren't any lessons I had to take. I just had to get my life together and write my bachelor. I had a lot more time to get my bachelor's degree and after that I took another bachelor semester with only a few lessons because I didn't want to start my master's degree when it's still an online semester. I knew I wouldn't be able to handle it that. But now everything is back to normal. Well, at least everybody acts like it is. We do have our lessons in person again and I do have to take a few courses. I also got a little job, which unfortunately means I have a lot less time than before, which sucks. I of course don't want to stop doing these videos. I love the channel and the German's book region and I'm so happy about your support. It means so much to me. Sharing these ideas and drawings with you and hearing your input is amazing. But I now won't be able to put out a video every Sunday like it used to be. I think I have to skip one week so there will be a new video every second Sunday. Maybe there will be a few additional videos in between if I find the time, but I don't want to promise anything I can't keep and I do want to focus on the German book region. The reason why I didn't upload a video last week was that I filmed parts for a special video that will come out on the first anniversary of my channel, well hopefully. <laughs> it was a bit different than my usual stuff, so I hope I can finish it until June 25th. Oh. Also, we're only missing 30 people to 300 subscribers. It would be really cool if we could reach that goal before the anniversary, but it's not a lot of time until then, I know that. And not putting out as many videos as I used to probably doesn't help with that, but oh well. And there's also one more thing why I won't be able to put out content every week. It's because I'm actually already planning my next region. And by planning, I mean making concepts for the region and sketching fake one ideas. I've already sketched 13, but I won't finish them until, well, I know exactly how to construct the series. When I started the German's book series, I had a lot of already finished designs, so I only had to create the videos, which made it so much easier for me to start this channel. So I decided I want to start planning and producing the new series way ahead. It definitely won't come out this year though, don't worry. Or don't get your hopes up high, <laughs> I don't know. There is still a lot more to explore in the German's book region and I'm not ready to finish it anytime soon. And maybe I will explore it after the new series too. I'm really bad at finishing projects once and for all. But I talked enough about non-related stuff. Here's the evolution of Kitto, Ferikio. The name is a fusion of Felis, which is the, I believe, Latin term for cat, Iki, which is the Azerbaijanian word for two, and the word warrior. They are very tactical fighters and don't engage in unnecessary fights or, or one they think is beneath them. But please stay for another minute, we are not done yet, we still have to design the emblem you will get once you beat the second emblem contest. The base form is the same as the other two, for this one I added the two tails as the main feature and shaped it like the Roman number two. I especially liked the previous emblem because at first glance it looked symmetrical, but at second glance it was slightly asymmetrical. I wanted to do the same thing here with the parts going over and under the borders. It is my least favorite one out of the three I have done so far, but it's still pretty cool I think. Now we are done with the next emblem contest. Please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. Lately it's been struggling a bit and I don't know how well it will go after I only upload every second week. Anyways, next time you will see what's up with the fourth gym. Until then, please check out my other videos and leave a comment. If you have any ideas for fake mon for the German's book, reason, German's book region, please let me know there as well. See you in the comments.